Hey guys, Karen here with another video. This time it's going to be another Astro Switch update. So here's where you look at ga Astro Switches only available in Gadgetpon or Canatory form. So I've got a couple of more switches today. These are number 35, the Giant Foot Switch, and number 36, the Arrow Switch. So first is number 35, Giant Foot. This is a cross-shaped switch with the maroon color. You've got the seer down here with the number 35 and the foot in the background. And this one's similar to the hand switch, in that, similar to the hand switch, the actual activation switch is not the thing that takes up most of the top of the switch. Instead, what takes up most of it is this detailed, kind of, uh, kind of blocky, uh, uh, kind of shape of a foot, image of a foot. You can even see that they, well, mold in detail to separate the individual toes. Well, the actual activation switch is right here off to the side, so to activate you just press down on it, like this, and the foot sinks into the switch. Then to deactivate you just pull up on the activation switch. So then we have number 36, Arrow. This is a triangle switch with a color that's a little bit hard to describe. It's a kind of a light blue, but sometimes it seems like it's either a purplish blue or a bluish purple. The thing is that the color kind of seems different depending on the lighting. Though on this camera it uh, gives off the look of being a light blue color. So we've got the sticker here, which has number 36 and a kind of a whirling fan in the background. It's kind of like a trigger, just push this in like so and pull it out to turn it off. So, ring in the Forza driver. Doing the shortcut. And zooming out. So first this. So first off, there's one. Whoops. First there's giant foot, so we'll take out launcher, and I'll put in giant foot. Then switch it on. So doing that equips Forza with a giant foot module, attaching, well obviously, a very large boot to his right foot. But the special thing is what does. It's actually quite a unique switch in that it creates a giant illusionary, it creates a big illusion of a giant foot that stomps down on his opponent, but actually it creates a distortion of gravity where gravity heavily increases around his opponent and it actually looks like a boot print when it's all said and done. So that's pretty unique. So then, putting out drill, and putting in the arrow. Then switching on. Uh, let me just do that again. So that equips force it with the arrow module. Attaching an interesting kind of uh, kind of booster like device to his left leg that can suck in a lot of air from around him, then forcefully blow it out at his opponent. And as for why it didn't work the first time, uh, it seems like I'm having some problems with my triangle socket, so sometimes these switches don't exactly work. Right. But it's not broken, just a little bit glitchy. And then turning back on giant foot. We can make a limit break out of the two. So deactivating the two. Putting back the original switches. And just switching it off. So there you have two more switches. So giant foot and arrow are pretty nice. 
I definitely am quite fond of the giant foot switch. It ha is a quite a unique idea. It has quite a unique switch activation. In that it doesn't... It's similar to the hand switch, but it doesn't copy it. Arrow is also pretty nice. Has a has a unique color. Has a unique activation. The one thing to note is that this back part will come detached, right? If you get this in Gashapon form, like I did, so you're gonna have to slide this on from the back. Uh, it's pretty simple, but just going just telling you guys this in advance. And of course, these are recommended if you're trying to collect all 40 switches like I am. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, writing off.